<laughs> Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Well, here we are Monday, and um, over the weekend we had the magnificent um, results of clearing for the X flare that that um, solar winds of which hit Earth then and transformed it. And tomorrow we're going to be um, um, buffeted by another coronal mass ejection, I think. It's just an M-class flare, maybe M1. And uh, there may be a couple more in the offing coming up in the next day or so, depending on whether the original flares were Earth-directed or not. So um, with a, only a breather of maybe one day for consolidation, we are um, anticipating more clearing, um, more clearing, a sort of a healing of the soul and clearing of the etheric body and, and also improvement of health in the physical body as a result. So I just thought, heads up in that. And uh, something has been coming up today, not with regard to me, but through telepathy that, uh, that I experienced early on uh, and that I thought it'd probably be a really good idea to mention briefly. Um, as, um, as what's called soul wounding cracks open, uh, it can take us very much by surprise and the results can be intellectually and mentally extremely devastating. Um, there are systems in, of belief in place in our deep subconscious minds that are uh, that are far um, greatly in opposition to what's uh, considered to be socially acceptable um, um, civilized behavior, and sometimes this deep wounding, which may have occurred as a result of, of many experiences in past lifetimes or might actually have something to do with the current lifetime, this deep wounding, um, the discovery of this deep wounding can cause us to feel that, that we might as well end our lives, okay? Now, sometimes it's because we discover uh, like a, a pattern in the subconscious mind that's what, what I, some people call uh, aggressive or predatory and sometimes it's because we discover a pattern of like being wounded, of being injured, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the opposite, in other words, of, of being at the effect of aggression over many lifetimes. And uh, in the first instance, what we can feel is that um, because we have these instincts that I would call may derive from carnivore experiences in, in far distant lifetimes, because we have this like discovery of cellular memory, we think that we're not worth while and that there's no point in carrying on. I want you to know that this is simply a step in clearing past the um, what's called socially acceptable truth into the realms of true truth, okay? So we move from the socially acceptable truth, which in fact is just a bunch of, of like a quilt of, of social lies, into the discovery of the, of the shadow of ourselves. And as light is thrown on that shadow, and as we successfully manage to throw light on it without acting out by killing someone else or injuring someone else or in fact ending our own life, we avoid this acting out. We, we know that we came to earth with a sole purpose that is worthwhile and majestic and we sit it out and let the light shine on the darkness. It takes guts, okay? We let that happen and then we arrive at a greater truth, okay? Now, in the case of people who were at the effect of this kind of aggressive behavior, what I would call herbivore, uh, like cellular mem memory, the memory of the, of the herd of, of wild gazelles that was constantly being preyed upon by the lions in the, in the deserts of Africa, for instance. 
that memory that one goes down and the next goes down and finally I go down to the to the lions is is a cellular wounding that we hold even in our current incarnation all right now in this case the most likely acting out scenario as this shadow comes to light is to put ourselves in a situation where we go unconscious while driving in, in heavy traffic and we kill ourselves by mistake. It is our unconscious mind, our, um, our shadow mind that is doing this. Or else we actually put ourselves in danger of suicide. All right. These are not acceptable options. The reason we came here is to clear this energy from Earth. It's very difficult, extremely difficult. It takes great courage and great faith. But I expect of all of you that you should do that. I know you can do that. So, not that it's absolutely going to happen tomorrow or the next day, but just something to look out for. And it's good to know that as time goes on, those deepest ancestral memories are cleared from a from our shadow mind and it becomes much easier to deal with the shadow so something to look forward to and something to know to know that the majesty of your soul is is beyond anything that that your anything that your imagination can come up with right now it's truly majestic it's truly wonderful and it awaits it awaits your discovery <laughs> so, have fun with the solar flare. Wish me luck, too. Talk to you guys later. Take care. <laughs> Get ready for a little re view of the reservoir. Pastorius Reservoir. And there may be birds around. You might see a few birds. I'm not guaranteeing it, though.